Capo residence. Call the Mary. Good. It's it's Mason. I'm glad you answered. Oh, Mason, I am so sorry about what happened before. I, I was really rude and I didn't mean it. Uh, That's all right. All is forgiven, but I'm going to need some help. What's wrong? Uh, I'm in a sushi place downtown. Oh. I was uh, driving around feeling lonely and I stopped here. I've, I've only had a couple of drinks, but I make it a rule never to drink and drive. Would I be imposing too much if I asked you to come pick me up? Where are you precisely? You know, that, that sushi restaurant at the corner of Anakapa and Chapala Streets. You can't miss it. It's full of Japanese chefs with knives yelling at each other. Well, Mason, I don't believe in people drinking and driving, so yeah. Yeah, I'll come pick you up. Uh, I'll leave right now. Listen, don't drink anything more till I get there, okay? I've just gone on the wagon. Or the rickshaw. I'll uh, be expecting you. should let me introduce you to the delights of sushi sometime. That place we just left is a pearl of the occident. Mason, I don't think I'm quite ready for raw fish with you yet. No, I know. You're still having trouble with raw emotions. Don't you start on no, me. I'm not starting. I'm not starting. I'm abjectly apologetic. I know I offended you this evening. I'm not quite sure how, but I'm deeply sorry. Ooh, you're looking very stern, like a, something superior. You know, the Japanese have a saying. Well? Well, what? Well, what do the Japanese say? Aha! Uh -huh. That piqued your interest, huh? No, skip it. Oh, no, I want to tell you. They're very wise, the Japanese. Yes. So what's the saying? What saying? The saying that you're about to tell me. I've forgotten. <laughs> no, no, really. The Japanese, the Japanese say... You should smile more. That's it? That's it. Now, I don't think they mean you personally, but people in general. And the Japanese, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but the Japanese are a very smiling people. <clears throat> I think you should smile more. At me. You can start any time now. <laughs> That's better. It's like the sun just came out or something. Listen, I want us to be friends. I want us to be friends. Well, then what's stopping us? If it's that little matter of you being inexperienced, you don't have to... Mason, I mean, you stay off that subject. I'm off it. I'm off it. Stop the car! What? Stop the what? car! Are you going to be sick? No, I'm going to be talkative. Pull over. This is an idyllic spot. No, I don't want to stop. Why not? It's perfect. There's no moon, no stars. It's a great place for a conversation. There's nothing to distract us. Lisa, what are you talking about? There is a moon. There are stars. Well, I'll be darned. You're right. We'll pull over anyway. It's all the better. Come on. Be a sport. I'd pull over if I was driving. I bet you would. All right. All right. Thank you. But only for a minute. Oh, that's fine. A minute with you is like five minutes with anybody else. Is that a compliment? It uh, started out as one. Um, listen, let's be serious for a minute, okay? I do like you. I don't care if you know it. Mason, what I don't know, what I never know about you is when you're teasing me and when you're being sincere. I know. I have the same problem with myself sometimes. But I can tell I'm being sincere now. I do like you. And I want you to like me. And I want that to grow into something more. You know what, Mason? Y you had a lot of champagne in the gazebo, and then you had a lot of sake, and I don't think this is a good time to talk about anything serious, because you see, in the morning you're going to wake up, and either you're going to forget this whole thing, or you're going to remember it and regret it. No, no, I won't, I swear it. Look, I don't, I don't know if you know this, but the Capua coat of arms shows a man with a big smile rampant on a field of forget-me-nots. And over him, in gold letters, is the family motto. And it says, regret not, forget not. This guy with the smile, is he lying rampant or is he running rampant? Actually, I think he's sleeping rampant. And he's dreaming 
of somebody named Mary. Why else would he have that smile on his face? We're talking a big smile now, <laughs> ear to ear. You are really impossible. Would you like me to tell you about the first girl I was ever with? No, <laughs> good grief. Well, no, I'm not going to tell you her name. I'm not a cad. I'm just going to tell you about the experience. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll pass. Okay. Suit yourself. Feeling better now? Yes. No one can say that you're not a very charming man. Some have tried. Of course, you have your drawbacks. First, I've heard about them. I think it's time to take you home, Mr. Kaplan. Okay, wait, but well, wait a minute. I want to check on something before you start the car. What? Well, I was riding a little strangely earlier. I um, I just want to check the tire. I didn't notice anything. That's because I was being charming. Hang on, I'll be right back. Oh, Mason. If something were wrong, would you know what to do about it? Oh, sure. I'd worry. <laughs> What are you doing out there? Hang on. I was worrying. What do you mean? What's wrong? I'm afraid our tire is going flat. What? What rotten luck, huh? didn't hear anything, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely heard a noise. Like what? Uh, sort of a whooshing sound. Whooshing sound? Like we ran over something? Because uh -huh. I don't see any puncture. Well, maybe it was more like a hiss than a whoosh. Or it, um, it could have been a slow leak. It's a perfectly new tire. Yeah. Well, flat tires happen. That's why people have spares. <laughs> spares, right. Be a gentleman and change it for me, would you? Me? Mason, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be here. I mean, you and your two cups of sake that supposedly incapacitated you. I was just doing you a favor. I'm just giving you a ride home. I should be at home in bed with a book and a cup of chamomile okay. tea. Okay. Okay. I suppose you have a flashlight, do you? In the glove compartment. Well, be a gentleman and get it for me, would you? I don't know. It sounded like something big. Oh my God. Who's there? Now, animals come down from the hills looking for stuff to eat and water. You're sure brave, aren't you? Thank you. All right, get the jack, would you? Sure. What does it look like? Well, it looks like a... Mason, have you ever changed a tire before? Why, is there some trick to it? Yeah, ever learned about cars was how to drive them and uh, put down the top. The, uh... It's interesting, you drive a uh, convertible that shows an adventurous spirit. Yes, and there's no jack handle here. What? Well, there must be. That's not it, is it? <laughs> I guess not, no. All right, where's the nearest phone? Oh, don't worry. Somebody will come along. Well, nobody has so far. Why did you make me take this road anyway? I mean, I mean, where does it lead to? It's a shortcut. To where? Mason, it's going to run down the battery. That's okay. I'll fix it. <laughs> I'll say this for you. You do make me laugh. Look up. That's why I had to take this road. The stars, you don't get them like this in the city. Yeah. I may not know my cars, but I sure know my constellations. Do you? Oh, yeah. Eden and I renamed them all when we were kids. See, that's the uh, big saucepan. <laughs> dipper. Oh, nobody uses a dipper anymore. And the little saucepan. And the bent over palm tree, tortilla major and minor. And uh, over there's the naked hockey player. Where? 
Well, it's right over there. You see those six are his, his hockey stick, and if you follow them on up, you see that? <laughs> yeah, Eden uh, found that one. I wonder how many women and how many cars with how many mysterious flat tires have gone through this routine before. Mason, what do you think this is, the 50s? Oh, Mary, it's only an arm. Yeah, with a hand attached to it. I know all about you. I've heard stories. What stories? Uh, where are you going? I'm going to find a phone to call a tow truck. Mary. You know what? Keep those. Add them to your trophies. Mary. You know, I bet you used to be on your high school track team. That is a matter of fact. How far would you say it was? A mile, mile and a half? Mm. You know, we'd be halfway home by now if we'd walked in the other direction. What? Why didn't you tell me that? You didn't ask. Uh, Mason, you haven't changed. I left my purse. purse in the car. Yeah, I know. Allow me. 24-hour towing. I can read. Well, how are your feet? Perfectly fine, thank you. Stockings aren't going to win any endurance awards. Uh, yes, hello. Um, who... Hello, you've reached the business phone of Mason Capwell, attorney at law. We are now in the process of relocating... Yes, uh, we, we had a little car trouble, a, a flat tire, to be exact, and, and um, we have a spare, but we don't have a, a jack or, or part of it. I, I'm not really sure which. Then anyway, we... Thank you. Yeah, right. Right. We're, um, we're in a, a red convertible about three miles out on the Akukano Valley Road. Well, if we, uh, if we have to wait, we have to wait. Oh, no, we're not, we're not going anywhere. Thank you. Well, how long? About an hour. Mm. I hope those are biodegradable. What? Your stockings. <laughs> Look, I'm not enjoying this any more than you are. I can't wait for that tow truck to get here and fix your damn tire. Oh, time. I'll bet. You know, you are the most conceited woman I have ever met. I mean, I appreciate your showing off your legs to well, me. The reason I'll... I took off those stockings was, first of all, they were completely but ripped up. But if you think I'm going to be overcome with lust and drag you under the trees, you're mistaken. I don't know what stories you've heard about me, but you certainly haven't heard that I make a habit of dragging ex-nuns into the woods to rob them of their... If the next word that you're about to say begins with the letter B... Innocence. They're prudish, puritanical, nose-in-the-air, stockingless innocence. All right. I'm sorry. No, I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, see, you just have to remember I'm not used to being in situations like this. Neither am I. Well, no, no, what I mean is being alone with men because I, I'm not, I don't know what to expect and I get nervous and I think I overreact probably. Well, maybe I uh, came on a little too strong, too. You notice I said maybe. Friends? Yeah. Let's go back to the car and um, wait for the tow truck. Okay. The flashlight's dead. Oh, that's all right. I got some matches. <laughs> I picked them up at the sushi restaurant on... Uh... Hey, you know, as long as we're here, I should probably uh, call home. And just let them know where we are, you know? Oh, good. Good, you're still open. Listen, do you, um, deliver by any chance? Imagine living like this outdoors, in caves, wherever. 
I think the outdoors is a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. You can really see, though, why people thought there were spirits in the, the earth and the trees. I think there's spirits in every living thing, don't you? Yeah. I think, yeah. Trees talk to each other. Did you know that? Yeah, they, um, they found that apparently if one tree develops a particular parasite, that the trees around it will start producing a toxin that repels that particular bug. How do they do that? Nobody knows. They communicate. They send warnings to each other or something. All kinds of miraculous things happen in nature that we don't understand because the only messages we really understand are verbal. You know, you could take a lesson from the trees when it comes to me. What do you mean? Don't listen to what I say. I mean, I talk a lot. I say a lot of stupid things. And the message is underneath. The message is silent. Oh, we're being rescued. Wait a minute, that's not a tow truck. Hello. Two sushi dinner. Uh huh. Twelve pieces. Two Japanese soda. Good. One green tea. Okay. Two fortune cookies. Very good. Thank you very much. Fortune cookies from a Japanese restaurant? Yeah, that's why I like this restaurant. Huh. And the candles. Wonderful. Look at that. Tekamaki, my favorite. I thought you said you never had sushi. I lied. Excuse me, do you happen to have a jack handle in your van? No, no need. See? Screw off top. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. You enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> oh. And your bill? All right. You keep the change. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't this lovely? <laughs> Like a fortune cookie? <laughs> What's yours say? Interesting. What is it? You go first. Petals blown on the wind will bring you love and insecurity. Insecurity? Well, that's a misprint. No, no, no. What that means is, you see, a chance of event will come along and bring to pass in your life. Either that or we're falling in love with a florist. No, mm -hmm. you. My, these are good. Stop stalling. Mason, this is, um, it's a little personal. Oh, good. Read it. All right. Generosity is the shrubbery of life. What? Generosity is the shrubbery of life. The shrubbery? <laughs> <laughs> I think it loses something in translation. No. No, no, you see what it means is that the shrubbery is very pretty and naturally makes things look very nice. So if you're generous, that means it's like that it's... like planting shrubbery all over the oh, place. Oh, exactly. <laughs> she even has a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. You're perfect, you know that? I feel perfect. Right now I feel perfectly perfect. You know they're, they're always talking about planting kisses. Well, you plant shrubbery. I th I think it would be um, generous of you if you would. You are so. No, don't don't say anything. I have a confession to make. So do I. You first. No, I went first last time. You first. Oh, it's right. I know that you let the air out of my tire. Oh. That was my confession. How did you know? I just figured. You're not angry? Moderately. Talk about unoriginal, huh? Yeah, it was pretty hokey. <laughs> 
You know what else I do? I threw the jackhammer into the woods. I should have figured. Then when I went to the phone booth, I didn't call the tolling service. I called my answering machine. <laughs> and here I sit, blissfully unaware, not mm. a care in the world. Thinking they're going to arrive at any minute. Hmm. Well, good night, Mason. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Well, you'll stay with the car, won't you? I'll call a tow truck when I get home, have them come pick you up. Then you are mad at me. Oh, why should I be mad? I knew you were a liar and a lech. Two or three kisses does not a lech make. And when you think about it, Mason, I've got a free dinner out of it. You're going to uh, buy me a, a, a new jack. You're going to change my battery. You're going to um, change the tire, recharge the battery. And, uh... You didn't think I was so despicable ten minutes ago. Oh, no. Just laughable. Wait a minute. Mary, wait! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. Now, wait a minute. You think, you think maybe it could be... Well, okay. Are we, um... Are we even now? All right. Uh, what about if I walk barefoot all the way home? Would that do it? Now are we even? Oh! Now we are. Mar Mary!